What's going on summoners, my name is Nathan Ng. Today we're going to be diving into episode 4 of our build different series. In case you're not familiar with it, we use this series to break down powerful Korean builds with a fun mini game on the side. Be sure to stay tuned so you don't miss out. On your left you'll see two bars with one indicating risk and the other carry potential. These are color coordinated to help you figure out how useful yet difficult the builds are. Let's not waste any more time and dive right into the video. Starting us off strong, we've got Jarvan in the top lane. With his buffs, Jarvan made an amazing comeback in the jungle, but did you know he also has seen heavy play in the top side? Not only did he become the best ganking jungle in the game, but he is an amazing brawler. In the top lane, Jarvan is able to duel his foe and easily roams to get both his jungle and mid laner ahead. Not to mention that he is a wonderful team fighter. If you're looking for a new fighter to add to your top lane roster, be sure to check him out. Taking a look at his popular Korean build, you'll be taking Ignite and Teleport as your summoner spells. As for your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Alacrity, Last Stand, Demolish, and Unflinching. These runes will help you take extended fights while also letting you get some plates along the way. When it comes to your items, you'll be building Ravenous Hydra, Defensive Boots, Divine Sunder, Black Cleaver, Death Stance, and Force of Nature. Jarvan offers an amazing laning phase, a steady power curve, and some of the best team fighting out there. That being said, you'll still need to think a bit before diving into a fight. If your allies aren't nearby, you can easily get yourself killed. On the bright side, Jarvan's easy to pick up kit makes it so you can put 100% of your mind into your decision making. Overall, he's a powerful pick that's relatively low risk. Moving on to our next pick, we've got Kled Top. While Kled hasn't been the most popular pick throughout the years, he has been fairly strong overall. Besides a few difficult matchups, Kled is easily able to stomp lanes and snowball his lead. His laning phase was so powerful to the point where he was a viable mid laner for quite some time. Plus, who doesn't like yelling charge as they speed towards the enemy team? Overall, if you want a bruiser that will take every fight to the death, then you should enjoy Kled. Diving into his build, make sure you take Ignite and Teleport as your summer spells. Your runes will consist of Press the Attack, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Demolish, and Unflinching. These runes will give you a strong landing phase thanks to the synergy between your W and PTA. Plus, you'll even get some free gold thanks to Demolish. Look into your items, you'll be building Blade of the Rune King, Defensive Boots, Jack Show, Black Cleaver, Death Stance, and Maul and Mamordius. Kled is a powerful laner and he's only getting stronger by taking Ignite, PTA, and Rushing Borg. That being said, you really only need to practice a champion to learn his limits as well as his matchups. Specifically, you need to be careful when facing Jax or Fiora. Overall though, Kled can dominate the landing phase and easily transitions his lead into a teamfighting monster. Before we continue on to our other Korean builds, we want to remind you all to check us out at ProGads.com. With our new $7.99 monthly subscription, you can take your gameplay to the next level with some brand new course and bootcamp content. If courses and lessons aren't your thing, well don't worry. We have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you out. As a member, you'll even get a 10% coaching discount. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the Pro Guides family. Nonetheless, let's not waste any more time and dive right back into the video. Pulling us into the jungle, we've got Maokai. This Triant wannabe has been dominating the meta thanks to his high damage, potential, and amazing ganks. Even after a few direct nerfs and some nerfs to his core items, Maokai is just as strong as ever. With even the slightest bit of practice on his Claire and play style, you'll easily take over matches. Overall, if you want a consistent AP tank jungle, then you should consider checking him out. Taking a look at his build, you'll be taking Flash and Smite as your summoner spells. For your runes, you'll be taking Phase Rush, Nimbus Cloak, Transcendence, Water Walking, Cheap Shot, and Treasure Hunter. These runes will help you stick to your targets early on or provide an easy escape later. They also give you great ganking power due to your movement speed. Moving on to your items, you'll be building Demonic Embrace, Lucidity Boots, Even Shroud, Shadow Flame, Frozen Heart, and Force of Nature. Maokai does feel a bit weaker due to the nerves, but he's still an extremely powerful pick. He offers an easy and versatile clear path alongside some of the best gank setup in the game. On top of this, he slowly becomes a powerful teamfighter as the game goes on. Early on, he's actually a huge damage dealer that can nearly 1v1 any enemy and as the game goes on, he becomes a hyper tank that provides utility for his team. Overall, Maokai just provides a bit of everything with little to no risk. Moving on to our next jungle pick, we've got the arcane superstar herself, Vi. This mechanical fist wielding brawler has made a massive comeback thanks to pro play. Seeing little to no play, she has returned as a priority jungle pick that can do it all. With a simple kit and versatile playstyle, Vi is able to provide you and your team with anything that you may need. If Maokai doesn't feel aggressive enough for you, then be sure to try out Vi instead. Diving into her build, you'll be taking Flash and Smite as your summoner spells. As for your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear, and Cosmic Insight. These runes will give you great brawling both early on and later into the game. When it comes to your items, you'll be building Kempunk Chainsword, Defensive Boots, Iceborne Gauntlet, Black Cleaver, Maul Van Mortius, and finish off with either GA or Death Stance. Vi is a relatively easy champion to play, and she also offers a healthy yet fast clear. On top of this, she's able to dish out decent ganks pre-level 6, but when she does hit 6, well, she pretty much guarantees a kill and every single gank. 
Even if you don't get a massive lead, she can provide her team with high utility and frontline. Vi is really a relatively low risk yet high reward pick. Taking us into the mid lane, we've got LeBlanc. This is likely a name that you've hardly seen on any list, and it's mostly because LeBlanc is rarely OP in solo queue. On the rare occasion that you see her in pro play, it's usually in the hands of somebody like Faker. While some of the buffs coming her way might as well just be buffs for her favorite items, she is finally looking to be in the spotlight. LeBlanc offers high burst, great skirmish, and is overall an extremely fun champion to play. If you need an AP assassin that can weave in and out of fights with creative angles, then make sure you check out LeBlanc. Moving on to the build itself, make sure you take Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. For your runes, you'll be taking Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Highball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Mana Flow Band, and Scorch. These items will give you amazing bursts early on, while also helping you snowball into the mid game. Taking a look at your items, you'll be building Ludens Tempest, Sorcerer's Shoes, Cosmic Drive, Rabbit on Seth Cap, Void Zap, and Zhonya's Hourglass. LeBlanc can be a fairly difficult champion to play. Not only can her kit be a bit overwhelming due to her situational combos, but if you overstep in the mid lane, you can easily get caught out and die. She is fairly feast or famine due to her low utility, but even with a slight lead, you are able to take over games with sheer damage. Overall, she's just a mid-game menace that can snowball her team through roams and skirmishes. Just be sure to take some time practicing her combos. Now before we move on to our final few Korean builds of the video, let's not forget about our favorite pro guide tradition. Today we want to ask you all, if you could bring back an old item, what would it be? I would personally love to have Frozen Mallet back. It was such a great but meme item. Regardless of what it may be, make sure you let us know in the comment section down below. Nonetheless, let's dive right back into the video. Pulling us back into the video, we've got our only ADC pick, Zaya. This powerful Vistayan has been dominating the ranks and is easily one of the best ADCs in the game. Boasting an extremely high win rate, Zaya shows that she can not only take over the laning phase, but can easily take over games if given too many resources. If you're looking for a hyper carry marksman with great self peel, then look no further than Zaya. Taking a look at Zaya's build, you're going to be taking Flash and either Exhaust or Cleanse as your summoner spells. As for your runes, make sure you take Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Bloodline, Cut Down, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. These runes will make you a monster in the mid game thanks to your bonus attack speed, range, and lifesteal. Finally, for your items, you're going to be building Gale Force, Berserker's Greaves, Navori Quick Blades, Sorella's Grudge, Phantom Dancer, and Ravenous Hydra. Zaya has been a powerful pick for a few patches now thanks to her amazing laning phase and scaling. She is easily able to 1v9 games with proper feather setup due to her high AoE damage that she's able to deal in team fights. Pair this with her amazing self peel, and you got an ADC that can't be stopped. Moving on to our support pick, we've got Senna. While she has been MIA since the season started, Senna is finally returning as a way to punish the newly buffed engaged supports. She offers a powerful laning phase, great scaling, decent sustain, and is overall just the ADC version of Cassidy. In the support role, she is easily able to farm up souls even if it means that she has a lower gold income. Overall, if you want to steal the carry role from your marksman, make sure you try out some Senna support. Diving into her build, you're going to want to take Flash and then your choice of Barrier, Cleanse, or Exhaust as your summoner spells. Be sure to pick accordingly. As for your runes, you'll be taking Grasp, Font of Life, Bone Plating, Overgrowth, Presence of Mind, and Alacrity. These runes will make Senna tanky while also giving her some extra power in her trades. When it comes to your items, you'll be picking up Spectral Sickle, Umbral Glaive, Boots of Swiftness, Black Cleaver, Eclipse, and Guardian Angel. Overall, Senna is an incredibly lane dominant champion that can get herself ahead. That being said, if she's not careful, she can easily overextend and set herself behind due to jungle games. It's important for Senna to learn how to balance her trades so that she can go ahead and farm souls but not get too greedy. Once Senna reaches the late game, she can easily 1v9 thanks to her amazing range and damage. Before we continue on to the end of the video, climbing can be difficult and sometimes you'll need help or someone to play with. If you want to join an amazing community of people like you that loves lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So what are you waiting for? Join us! Last but certainly not least, we've got yet another powerful combo that has shown a lot of success in Korea. Give a welcoming round of applause for the powerful duo of Riven Top and Ivern Jungle. These two dominate the game by having Riven scale up into a powerful bruiser while Ivern sits in her pocket and provides her with a ton of utility. Riven herself can play most matchups in the top lane and can nearly always go even. As for Ivern, if he knows how to clear properly, he should never be at a risk of being counter jungle. Let's start off by taking a look at Riven's build. For your summoner spells, you'll be taking Flash and Teleport. As for your runes, you'll be going Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Shield Bash, and Unflinching. These runes give Riven a ton of skirmish power and also gives trading potential with Shield Bash. Finally, your items are going to consist of Ravenous Hydra, Lucidity Boots, Black Cleaver, Eclipse, Death Stance, and Maul of Mambordius. Moving on to Ivern's build, you're going to be taking Flash and Smite as your summoner spells. For your runes, make sure you take Summon Airy, Nimbus Cloak, Transcendence, Water Walking, Eyeball Collection, and Treasure Hunter. These runes will make Ivern great at ganking, snowballing, and overall increase his kit's power. 
When it comes to your items, you'll be building Lucidity Boots, Radiant Virtue, Cosmic Drive, Chemtic Future Fire, Cephal Flowing Water, and Rabidons. This powerful duo looks to take advantage of their consistent damage and relatively riskless playstyle. With a small lead, these two can even look to invade the enemy jungle and completely take it over. If their jungle tracking is good enough, they're even able to pick up a free kill, not to mention their fairly strong tower diving capabilities. The best part of this duo is that even without a lead, they can scale to reach two items and take over. Riven on her own is fairly difficult to kill thanks to her high sustain and CDR. Add an Ivern to the mix that can provide massive shields and healing and you've got a bruiser that cannot die. The most difficult part of this duo is learning how to play Riven properly because managing your cooldowns, especially with Ivern's bonus CDR, can be difficult. Make sure you sync some games with your duo before you dive into ranks, and you'll be sure to win in no time. And that sums up our video for today. Don't forget to join our ProGuides family at ProGuides.com. We offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you won't catch anywhere else, so stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys back in the next video. And don't forget, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.